Hi, I'm Tadlini Hahn and this is my busy garden. Well, the sun is shining today, well, at least for the moment anyway, but I'm going to start today in the strawberry patch. Previously on Diddley's Busy Garden. Never meaning to say. So the first jobby of the day is going to be to just lightly dig this over again. And then I'll rake it over. The soil's looking really nice at the moment actually. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that. Now if you remember there's actually two real objectives to me redesigning this strawberry patch. The first is to make it easier to pick the fruit next year, but the second is to protect against all the other predators that want to eat the fruit, like the birds for example. And for that I'm going to batter in some of these stakes at the corners so I can suspend a bird net from it next year. Just push it in as far as it'll go to start with and then use a piece of scrap wood to avoid damaging the top of the post. That should do it, about 12 to 14 inches above the soil. Don't need to be too high because the strawberry plants aren't very high. Just don't mess with Titley when she's got a hammer in her hand. That looks pretty good. Now next year when the fruit appears I can just hang a net across these six poles to keep the birds off. Okay, phase one complete. Now then, the next bit I want to keep the fruit off the dirt while it's ripening and I also want to be able to see slugs and snails a bit easier. So I've taken some weed control netting, cut it into strips and cut four holes in. Kind of like a mini poncho for quads really. I'm going to lie these out on the soil. Now the next jobby is to put a plant in each of these holes. So I'll take a little hole, take the plant out, it's got a really good root system on it. Take that out, pop him in the hole and cover back up. Then I'll just trim off any dead leaves. Okay, so that's the first row in place. Now I'm going to use these pegs to peg down this matting and keep it from blowing away. And finally tidy up the ends by just pushing them under the soil with a thin bit of wood. And there we are, Strawberry Patch 2.0 with improved user interface and enhanced security. No doubt I'll have to issue some system updates as the year goes on, but for now, job done. My next job is to sort out this flower bed under the medlar tree. There's a few strange things growing in it and a bit of old growth that needs cutting back to make way for the new. But I'm going to start with this thing over here. No idea what it is, so it's coming out. Hmm. It's got a very long root, whatever it is. Well, I don't know what you are, but you're not welcome in my garden. Now my pask flower, which was in beautiful bloom earlier in the year, particularly in the spring, now needs cutting back because right down here there are some new shoots. Oh, it's time for Titley's brutal pruning again. Look 
looking neater already. And there's a lot of new shoots about to appear on this too. What I think I might do is try digging this up, splitting it in two and putting two separate plants in this part of the bed. Try and be careful with this. Okay. Quite deep roots. Just break some of this soil off. Okay, it's coming apart. Great. Now I've got two plants. Press them in, take out this weed while I'm at it. Well, after that little bit of jiggery pokery, I've now got two pasque flower plants up here. I've repositioned the three columbines here and cleared all the weeds out of this part of the bed. Now down this end, I'm gonna dig all of these plants up to start with. I'm probably gonna get rid of this thyme because it's just attracting moss again and it's not really doing an awful lot. In fact, it's playing home to snails. And then I'll give it a good dig over. Keep this pink, it's a very nice pink. Some really nice colours on it. And this, what I think is a sedum. Certainly replant that. Okay, it's looking a lot better. Take those out. Now I'll reposition the plants. I think I'm going to pop the pink there. Got room to grow and it'll be nice. I think I'll pop this sedum at the end here. I'll plant it a bit deeper and I'll put some more aquilegia just along this bit here. Looking good. Down this end of the bed it's a bit of a zoo really. These meddler shoots need chopping right back and I've got a few too many aquilegia. Oh yeah I'm so brutal today. I'm also going to trim this back a bit. Now I'll pop an aquilegia in here and another one in here and another one just in here. Right, down this end of the bed the saxifrage is doing really well but it's spread a bit too much so I think I'm going to hack it right back. Sometimes I can be so utterly brutal. And that just leaves this corner to tidy up. So there it is, Meddler Bed 2.0 with 80% fewer aquilegia and plenty of room for expansion. I'm pretty pragmatic when it comes to moving plants around. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. But if you don't try, then you're never gonna win. So now the next job on my list of jobs is to tidy up at least this bed. For a start these irises are looking a little bit crowded and certainly very moth-eaten or should I say snail-eaten. So job one is to dig them up very carefully. You can see that they're kind of coming up in great clumps. And I'll need to tease these tubers apart very carefully. The ground's very soggy here actually. Now that I've got all the irises out, I can give this bed a really good dig over and pull up some of these bulbs ready for replanting. I'll trim back these pinks a bit because they're getting a bit wild. And then I'm going to dig in some compost. All right, the bed's looking good, ready for replanting. So back to these irises, and this is a typical iris which is in good condition. There's good roots on it, there's a nice tuber here, the tube is pretty much intact. There's a few manky leaves here and I'll just pull those off. 
and the leaves here are a bit moth-eaten so what I'm going to do is get a pair of scissors and trim them into a pleasing shape cutting away all the manky stuff and that's now ready for replanting now here's a tuber that isn't in such good shape it's got some shoots coming out of it it's got good roots too but there's a bit at the end here which has been eaten by something it's all mushy so I'm gonna eck, take that off and the rest of it looks okay now here's one that's not in particularly good shape at all I mean, apart from the leaves which of course I can trim the actual end here has been eaten and munched and it's all horrible I think I'll just throw this one away so I'm ready to replant these. Now there's a bit of a trick with these. The first thing is you don't cover the tuber up when you replant it. You're supposed to leave this showing so that the tuber doesn't rot. But secondly, the tuber should be oriented south. That means that the leaves are pointing to the south and get maximum sunlight. Super. now and I'm going to plant these little plants here that I rescued from the bed take off the long straggly bits Pop them in. and then I've got some bulbs to replant I'm pretty sure these are tulip bulbs so I'm going to spread these around the bed dee, 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 dee. Dee, 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 dee. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how this develops next spring. Well, that's all I've got time for this week. There's still plenty to do to get the garden ready for winter and next spring. Thanks for watching this week and do join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden.